Merry February, everybody. So, firstly, that is becoming a thing in my vlogs. I don't know if it's just because when I start speaking, they win it. You probably didn't even hear that. One of the youngsters just whinnied. Anyway, firstly, what I was going to say is for everyone that has watched the Dora vlog, where I explain about Dora's colic experience. Firstly, thank you so, so much for all of the lovely comments, the messages, everything I've received from that. You've been so kind and so supportive. So I really do appreciate that. But I know you guys will be wondering how the little sausage is. So, da -da. I mean, that's how well she is. She's just chilling in the field. Hello, are you gonna come and say hello? We have actually got the vet coming back today just to run some more tests to make sure everything's all right, make sure her inflammatory rates are back to normal. But as you can see, she is back to her perky, lovely, happy self. She's allowed out in the field for a little bit. She's still in overnight, of course. She's probably gonna be in overnight for the rest of winter, but she is going out morning and night in the field. She's chilling with her buddies. We've got Millie over there and just a lot happier. You are back to your happy self. So there is a little Dora update for all of you. But today's vlog is actually including bear and jumping. So I will grab Teddy Bear in now and then go down to the arena and explain it to you. I have a bit of confession that I did attempt to film this yesterday with Dee and it did not go very well. Firstly, do you like the cap? I'm getting strong Baywatch vibes from it. Fairfax and Favour very kindly sent this out to me. It's a special Valentine's Day edition. Can you see the little heart? Only gift I'll be getting this Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna wear it with pride. So this video today is basically one that I thought would be good to do because we're still in lockdown and it is grating on me. Like I am seriously starting to struggle. I can't find any motivation to do anything. And like the ponies are just like, I keep just hacking them and like not schooling them. And then when I do school them, it goes really badly. Um, so yeah, I thought why not do a vlog where I'm doing an exercise I'm working through and hopefully will be something that will be really useful for my ponies, but also useful for you guys. And then I thought, whoa, I could collaborate with Challenge Social for this one because you guys probably know I'm a brand ambassador for them. I'm trying to shelter from the wind over here. So I am doing a Challenge Social vlog. So I've got a really good exercise there. I can see it right now. You guys can't see it, but I can see it and it's chef's kiss. So I'm gonna share my exercise with you. And in return, I am asking you guys to share some of your favorite exercises with me over on the Challenge Social app, okay? So I'm afraid it is still only UK only. Sorry, sorry, people outside the UK, but keep listening because you're gonna be able to see the best exercise on there or my favorite one. So if you head over to the Challenge Social app and you'll see that I've posted this challenge today, I want you to, in the responses, post one of your favorite training exercises. It can be anything, it can be jumping, poles, dressage, it can be out hacking, something that you do to kind of like school while you're, whilst you're out hacking, love doing that. And then I'm going to go through all of them and I'm gonna pick my favorite one and I'm gonna make a vlog doing that exercise. Comprende? see so for all the people that can't get challenge social you will get to see one of the exercises but i'm sure i will get loads of inspiration from it and hopefully other people will too and maybe more will crop up on my vlog maybe i could do like a i could do like loads of exercises in one vlog oh maybe that would work anyway so the exercise i'm going to show you today oh the last thing i needed to say was that yes i did do it with d yesterday and she was <laughs> Bless her, she was so excited and she's not done anything for so long and it just didn't really go. It wasn't going that well and it turned into more of just like, I was. it just turned into a training session and I kind of forgot about vlogging. So what I'm going to do is at the end, include a few clips of D, like the bad ones and then the ever, <laughs> ever so slightly improved ones at the end and I'll do a bit of a voiceover for you with those ones, guys. Um, 
but the exercise was actually really handy at highlighting all those problems. I know we don't like to think about them, but it was very good. So I'm gonna flip you round and show you the exercise and talk you through it. Okay, here we have said exercise. It is set up on the centre line. So this is because you can then do it approaching from both reins, which is very handy. Something that I noticed yesterday is that I much prefer going on the left rein with D than the right, so it really highlighted that weakness of mine. We start with two poles to go between. This helps with straightness and also stops you cutting that corner because you have to make sure they're round your inside leg to get through these poles. We've then got a little low wide oxer. Love that. I will be um, putting this down for bear to warm up over. <laughs> um, and then on landing, we have more poles, again, to keep us straight and to also stop me turning too early to any of the second elements. So striding wise, guys, I have done the normal kind of four strides, four human strides for a horse and then two for takeoff and landing. Although because mine are ponies, I've done it ever so slightly shorter than that, but just do what is right for your horse. So we've got four strides straight to the plank, which I'm actually just gonna adjust quickly now. So we do have a little A-frame here, but I'm going to pop these down just because I really like A-frames. I know some people are a bit against them, but I think if they're done properly and you're introducing the ponies to them, nicely i think they can be super super helpful they get them thinking they get them snapping up uh, yeah so i think they can be a very helpful tool but obviously don't jump too big with them like keep the fences small keep them wide and kind and yeah i don't really see too much of a problem with them so four strides straight to the plank or you can take the left or right option to the eight cup poly jumps and that is three strides on a curving line. I've also got, <laughs> this was part of the problem yesterday was I was cutting those corners too. So there are two water containers there and there, which I'm actually gonna move further into the corner to go around on landing to stop cutting the corners. So I actually really like this exercise for D and although it wasn't like, you know, the most aesthetically pleasing session, it was so helpful and it highlighted a lot of problems we have. Um, I think an adjustment for D that I would make would be to have, rather than the straightness poles um, after the little oxa, would be to have canter poles in the middle just because she was rushing. So I needed to sort of help her with her rhythm a little bit. Um, but it's really fun. So you can do your oxa, you can pick which option you go to here. You can keep them very much on their toes because you can literally like change your mind really like quickly as to which one you're doing. Um, and so then you can like come out over one and then you can go back on yourself and do say like an upright back to the oxer. So it was really good. There was lots you could do and you didn't need to have it particularly big. You can see I was only jumping very small with D and it did just get us thinking a lot. So I'm going to pop these all down to just poles on the floor, she says. Get on the floor um, and then I'll go and get a bear warm her up and I'll talk you guys through. I'll probably just like canter her through it first with poles. And then yeah, we'll build it up. But lol, who thinks Bird's gonna go crazy over that plank with an A-frame? I personally do. Okay guys, we are down in the arena now. Before I hop on, I'm going to introduce you to the person behind the camera without showing them to you. I'll describe her. She's lovely. She's about, what are you, like 5'3"? Quite short. Yeah, a bit smaller maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my friend, Hannah. She's too shy to be on the vlogs right now, but she's been helping me out with the horses since G left and I finally roped her into doing a bit of filming for me. Hopefully you guys are gonna meet her at some point because there's some quite exciting news that does actually involve her. But I just need to get her more used to being in front of the camera. So that's who that is, not got Hobbit today. So I'm gonna hop on and then we're gonna go through this exercise. Come on, do it again. <laughs> She's like, me? This isn't even about the plank, this exercise, Bear. No. Alright, Bear, do you know what? Just forget it. We're going to jump in a minute anyway. We'll deal with that problem later. <laughs> That's later, Meg's problem. <laughs> Exactly 
why I tried to film it with me first. <laughs> oh, this is exactly gosh. why I agreed. <laughs> So all warmed up, I'm going to canter bear over it as poles on the floor first. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Come on you. No. <laughs> Go on bear digger. <laughs> Oh my god, she listens to me. <laughs> oh god, so I can't be serious. <laughs> Bear, come on. Bear, then. <laughs> Alright, come on. Bear, come on. <laughs> I can't even ask you to put it down for me. <laughs> good girl, good girl. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you, hon. Come on. I mean, was that necessary? <laughs> I mean, if she's gonna do it, at least do it. <laughs> she knows you're naughty. Right. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do it. She knows you're naughty. Right. Okay, that's naughty now, Bear. Let's go over these poles. So you've been in the pole. We don't like wimps. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know what to do right now. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Me then. I know, so did I. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, if you listen to what I'm asking you. I think I might show the D footage instead. <laughs> cut, cut. Good girl.
Okay, so that was that was actually okay with the first cross pole and you could see that I was just practicing going between the orange and the green wings. So now Han has popped those up to cross poles for me. So I'm gonna keep going through the exercise like I just was with these rays and trying to be really sort of like focusing on getting her to land on the correct lead because obviously while you're competing, you often get these kind of related distances and then you're probably gonna have another fence just around the corner. So if you can practice getting them to land on the correct lead, that's gonna save you loads of time and hassle when you're out competing. And obviously you can switch it around. You can sort of decide which your stronger rein is and then practice more on your weaker one. Right there, let's see how this goes. <laughs> it's changed gone for our little low y now, guys keeping the second half of the exercise the same because it's there 
and I don't want to blow her brains. <laughs> a tiny little like it's barely off the ground so i'm going to jump that by itself then just run through the exercise as a whole and then be done because i'm a bit scared i don't know which way is better to come i think she's terrified both ways yeah i think she is yeah man My job. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Good girl. Well hates me right okay I'm gonna let Bear get her breath back I'm gonna run through it like it is now and hopefully it's gonna go well and then we're gonna go in I'm gonna pop her over one of the cross poles first just to give her the benefit of the doubt oh you are nice hey Bear's gonna deck Meg oh. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting guys, the vet turned up to do the tests for door door so we've been doing that so I thought I'd quickly come out and summarise <laughs> how the exercise went. Honestly, I just oh, it's just funny isn't it because I thought oh, I'll refilm it because Dee wasn't grey and then Bear was just Oh, she was just bare, wasn't she? So I'm going to quickly insert a little bit of the footage with Dee. The problem I was having with her is that she was just rushing so much. Um, and we did get, like, she did get better. What I was doing with Dee is I was introducing a lot of 10 metre circles just to get her around my inside leg and kind of pushing her into my outside range just so I felt like I had her more on her hocks and actually listening to me rather than going around with her quarters in and just kind of running through the bridle a little bit. So I'll insert a little bit of that footage, try and do a bit of a voiceover and then come back and say ta-ra. Okay, so little voiceover time with Dee Dee. And oh my goodness, the irony of thinking that she was really naughty after just watching Bear is too much. Anyway, you can see here, she is just landing from the fences and firing away. So I'm introducing these little 10 meter circles in the middle of the exercise. It's quite difficult, like it comes up very quickly and it makes the exercise 10 times harder for her and hopefully reinforces that if she rushes, things get made more difficult and she has to get even more on her hocks. So hopefully eventually she'll put two and two together and think, oh, if I land and just sit on my hocks naturally, then I won't have to do these little circles and get round Meg's inside leg. So there you can see much nicer canter than the one I landed from over the first element. And here we go, back around the other way and a little bit rushy. So 
we do a tight circle, literally squeeze inside that wing. Could have gone bigger, but then it would have just been quite easy for her. So I was like, nope, like you're going where I want you to go. And then we get a better canter and pop out over that little cross pole there. So this okay, so this time we're going to introduce the plank and we get quite a bold jump from Dee Dee there. And that kind of explains what happens next because I completely lose her in the middle here to the cross pole and it's obvious that we just had a bit of a fun jump and it kind of wound her up again. So we pop the oxa in and that kind of made her think a little bit more. Here she lands on the incorrect lead, so just trying to correct that. I think it would be a lot easier to correct once the fences were bigger because obviously you have more time in the air to kind of help them out. And you can see she's just getting a little bit strong there, rushing the distance. And this is a problem I have with her out competing. <laughs> that was such a nice jump. Um, is that she will just rush through the distances and she ends up making them a bit sort of they like come up too fast for her and she actually ruins the distance so this is why I want her to be able to land sit on her hocks and wait for the second fence to come to her rather than just absolutely run at it so you can see there she's actually jumping through a bit nicer she's not rushing too much she's not getting too flat and there she's really nice and on her hocks and did quite a good job going through there again, landing on the wrong lead, so I just bring her back to a halt, kind of reinforcing what I was saying earlier, whereas if she lands on the wrong lead, I make it more difficult, so she has to come back to a halt, she has to do a walk to canter, just so she thinks, oh, actually, it's probably easier just to listen to mum and land on the correct lead. So here we add in another little 10 metre circle, really improves the canter and she lands on the correct lead there. So the better canter we have going in, the better canter we have going out, which kind of makes sense. Again, she wasn't too bad there, but I could feel her slightly taking a hold. So I was like, right, that's it, adding a circle, just so it's very black and white. It's very clear for her that she knows if she rushes, she's got to come back to me, sit on her hocks, get around my inside leg, and then we can re-approach the fence. Now she is starting to grasp it there. <laughs> you can see I was pleased with her giving me a pat there. Okay, so that was Dee Dee's footage. We did see some improvement and I think the exercise was actually really good for highlighting the problems and as annoying <laughs> as that can feel on the day, it's actually, you know, you get a lot more out of it when you do an exercise that's a bit more difficult and does highlight the problems rather than one that just makes you feel like you're good at riding, which don't get me wrong, sometimes you need to do those ones, but also sometimes you need to do something that's gonna make you be like, Ooh, I've got some stuff to work on. So today I was really pleased with how Bear did do it at the end. I think with her, it was kind of focusing on obviously just getting over the jumps in a normal way. Um, but I was doing a lot with the leads, like her canter leads on landing. Um, so that is sometimes a problem I have with Bear because she can do these big jumps and she can twist and do all sorts. She'll often land disunited or on the incorrect lead. So having the green and the orange ones where you can kind of come in off of one rein and then you're going, when you land, you're going to be going on a different rein. Like you, you can change it around quite a lot and it was really helpful. Like even I was getting in a bit of a pickle sometimes <laughs> um, about what sort of like which way I should be asking her to go. Um, so I found that was a really good thing for her and I really liked having <laughs> the change of having this low wide oxer and then although we didn't put these as uprights they were just cross poles I think it's quite nice to go from that sort of change of fence because obviously it replicates when you're competing you get lots of variety of fences so I thought that was quite a handy part of the exercise too obviously didn't put the A-frame up for Bear because she did not need it um, but I did do it with D and that was really good just to get D thinking a little bit more and actually you know assessing the fence rather than just hurling herself at it so I hope this vlog was helpful I hope you enjoyed it guys do let me know down in the comments remember this one is in collaboration with challenge social so if you head over to their app now super easy to download just go into your app store beep boop beep boop put in challenge social <laughs>
sick computer sounds um that'll come up you can download it for free and you can go and find my challenge and if you respond to it with an exercise anyone you want that you just find helpful it would be really good if in the description you can just write a tiny bit about it um say why you like it just so i can look at that when i'm picking one and then my favorite one join me back here at some point and i will try it out with my ponies okay it's getting chilly now so i'll say goodbye thank you for watching hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe hit the bell help me get to that 100k guys live laugh love you see you very very soon